Oh yeah, hey, um, hi. Yes, I am trying to find out uh, what the high range for like the heat tolerance on the Air 2, what what that would be. The Air 2? Mm-hmm, yeah, the Mavic Air 2. That's gonna be between 32 and 104. Okay, um, I'm, I'm, pl I'm gonna take it to Death Valley. Uh, the temperatures are supposed to be like 124? Fahrenheit? Yeah. But it'll, it'll, you think it'll still work? It'll, it'll still work, right? Hello? the hottest recorded temperatures on earth. This is Death Valley. Today we are in Death Valley, California to test out the DJI Mavic Mini 2 in the hottest temperatures in the entire world. We're gonna send it up into the air through increasingly warmer temperatures and see how it does. I have flown it in negative 17 degree weather Fahrenheit, so if you wanna check out that video, please do. Today, the expected highs in Death Valley are going to be 124 degrees Fahrenheit. It is still early this morning in Death Valley, so it's only 88 degrees right now. For our first flight, we're gonna send it up 88 degrees just outside of the Death Valley National Park lines. This flight was great, really nothing to be worried about at all. The temperature was very reasonable, well within the recommended range for this particular drone, and it was a great baseline for the rest of the day. All right, that was the first flight. Everything went pretty well. I just put the gimbal cover back on. It's only 88 degrees right now. The uh, drone feels fine. It's a little warm, but no warmer than it would be for any other flight that I've taken it on. Um, seems fine, didn't get any kind of warnings on the screen. So let's go ahead and get to our next location and see how hot it is there. All right, I also wanna point out, whenever you are flying drones, please make sure that you are checking your flight maps, make sure that you are only flying in approved areas. So for example, inside of the National Park, we're not gonna be able to fly in there. So we have a very specific map range of where we're gonna fly and when. We don't wanna get in any trouble with the drone. If you're gonna be doing any kind of tests like this on your own, please make sure that you're only flying in authorized areas and not inside of places like a national park where you're gonna get in big trouble. Things have escalated pretty quickly. It is now about 11 a.m and it just reached 112 degrees. We found a little spot to pull away. We're gonna go ahead and send the drone back up really quickly and then we'll talk a little bit about this spot as well. Hundred and twelve degrees outside. Hundred and twelve. So hot outside the phone might like not be able to handle this. I am sweating already pretty bad. Near the center of the valley there are 60 square miles covered with sand dunes. We reach the dunes in late afternoon just as the long shadows are casting an enchanting glow over their curved and rippled surfaces. Everyone has to cool down. We have to go back in the car. Oh no, we didn't lose it. <laughs> oh no. So we are turning up the air conditioning as high as we can because the phone needs to cool down before we can continue using it. So right now the drone is just out there in 112 degree heat. I think the DJI system is still going, but obviously I want it to cool down 
to temperature. iPhone needs to cool down. Oh my God, this is so stressful. iPhone needs to cool down. I know, I know you need to cool down. We're gonna put it in front of the vent here. Okay, it seems okay now. Oh man. Oh, I'm like, my hands are like shaking from the adrenaline I thought it. I thought it like lost it if it like fell out there. It looks like the drone is doing just fine, but that it was more, the phone couldn't handle being out there because you have to put your phone into the controller. So it's been out there for a while and it's probably gonna be pretty dang hot by the time it comes back. Okay, so it's been just over 10 minutes out in 112 degree heat. I'm gonna return to home and see how it goes. This is the Furnace Creek Visitor Center, and it was at this exact spot on July 10th, 1913, that the hottest air temperature on Earth was recorded, measuring in at 134 degrees Fahrenheit. It's still early on in the day, so it's only 119 degrees Fahrenheit right now, but later this afternoon, the high is scheduled to be 124 degrees. It's so hot that even being out of the car, out of the air conditioning for like, four minutes, you already start to feel sick. You get dizzy, you start to get lightheaded, you start to get this headache. I'm sweating like crazy. I also um, started to get like a really like deep pounding like heartache. And I also started to notice like a heat rash, like blotches on my skin. Oh my gosh. All right, back in the car. I think we were only outside for maybe four minutes at the most. And I am sweating through my hat. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm literally sweating through my hat. It's about 12.45 in the afternoon right now. And as you just saw, it is measuring at 119 degrees. We drove just outside of the park limits, uh, still in Death Valley, and it is still 119. We're gonna go ahead and put the drone up one more time and see how it fares with 119 degree Fahrenheit weather. Okay, first impressions. Okay, the drone is hot. It's way hotter than last time. Ooh. Ooh, and actually some of these little more metallic parts uh, by the end of the little wing propeller guys, that's like really hot. Okay, so it passed the test again. The DJI Air 2 flew perfectly in 119 degree weather. We've got a couple more hours before the temperature for the day reaches its peak. We're gonna fly this thing at 124 degrees Fahrenheit and see if it survives. We're just gonna see if this thing doesn't melt out of the sky. All right, everyone, it is the moment we have all been waiting for. It's about 3.30 in the afternoon. The temperatures have hit the highs for the day. And now it is time to see if our drone can survive the hottest temperatures on the planet. We are at 124 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna go ahead and send the drone up for the last time, hopefully just the last time today and not the last time forever because it melts. Hopefully not that. Alright, at this point of the day, I am feeling very confident. The drone has performed perfectly throughout the entire afternoon. Every temperature increase has gone well. The only small hiccup was that temperature error with the phone, but the drone was great. So I was like, don't push your luck, bring it in. And then this happened. Okay, there's not, oh here, let's, let's back it up a little bit. Let's get that shot. Oh, oh run. 
Oh God. Oh, Jesus, that was so close to being really bad. That was so close to being so bad. Touch test. This thing is burning up like crazy. It is so hot, it is uncomfortable to touch. It is freaking really hot. Okay, everybody, that was it. The drone survived, but barely. It started shaking like crazy at the end. I let it cool down in the car in the air conditioning for about five minutes. It seemed to start up again just fine. But when it almost crashed into the car, I, I saw all my drone money going down the drain before my eyes. The drone ended up surviving through all of the tests we put it through. We tried 88 degrees Fahrenheit. We tried 112 degrees Fahrenheit. We tried 119 degrees. And then at the end of the day, here we are 124 degrees Fahrenheit in Death Valley, the hottest place on earth. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. It helps us to make more adventures and do more cool stories like this. Thanks so much and I'll see you next time.